because we are so closely identified with Christ, our lives should be practically ordered so that we create maximum opportunity to focus on Christ and to worship, know, love and serve Christ. So how do we practically do this as believers? Well, again, practically speaking, we do this through the means that God has given us. And that is the means that God has intended for us to make use of to worship no love and serve him. They'll be very familiar to you if I think of three primary ones. Firstly, the word of God. Doing what we can practically to make sure we are regularly exposed to the word of God. Practically making that happen. That we are reading it, studying it, applying it as we seek to know Christ as he's revealed through his word. And then, of course, there's a the means of prayer. Christian can't survive without prayer. But this is speaking of doing what we can practically to make sure that we are regularly communicating with Christ. Nurturing our relationship with him through prayer, thanksgiving, petition and intercession. Just I have to remind myself all the time and, and I'll remind all of us, if we only pray when we feel like it, we'll hardly ever pray. It, it has to be something we practically insert into our lives and then of course we have participation in the local church which is doing what we can practically to make sure we're regularly around God's people worshipping as the corporate body serving our brothers and sisters in Christ these are just some of the primary means God has provided in other words you can't take these out of someone's life and say that that person is actually practically pursuing Christ you just can't do it apart from those things. Thank <laughs> you.